Next up, we've got quite a few other useful methods I'd like to cover. We won't do it all in one video, I promise. Some of them are really quick as well. So we'll begin with concat, which if we go to the docs and take a look at concat, it's used to merge more than one array, two or more arrays. You can combine them into a new array. So here's how it works. We have array one and array two. We can call array one dot concat array two and it creates a new array with both of them. And it does not update or mutate the original array, neither one nor two. It instead creates a new copy or a new version. So let's go with a fruits array and it will just have apple and banana, just to keep it short. And then a veggies array. And that will have asparagus and what's another good veggie? Uh, I guess potatoes, not a veggie, unfortunately. How about, how about Brussels sprouts? Okay, if we can cat them together, we could either do fruits dot can cat veggies and save that to a new variable or just, let's just console.log it. And you'll see what we get. Refresh my page. We end up with apple and banana first and then asparagus and Brussels sprouts. So the order matters, and if I instead did it the other way around, I did veggies dot concat fruits. We end up with this, asparagus, then Brussels sprouts. So it just takes this array and shoves this after it into a new array. But if we look at fruits or we look at veggies, they are unchanged. And if we go back to the docs, if you remember early on, I mentioned how you read this format here, where there's these array brackets or the square brackets inside one of these method syntax definitions where you basically it tells you the pattern the template you can follow these mean something is optional so that means that we can pass in multiple we could concat three or four or five arrays by passing them in so we have fruits and veggies let's do one more what's another category i guess meats i apologize for my vegan students or vegetarian students let's go with steak and chicken breast or something Good enough. We can concat all three of them. Let's make a variable called all foods equals, and then it's up to us what order we want them to go in, but let's just do fruits.concat and then veggies, comma, meats. And then let's take a look at all food, and you can see what we end up with. A large array. The three original arrays are unchanged. We have just concatenated. We've put them together into a new array. And that's kind of all there is to concat.